hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to take a look how we can access sharepoint sites and its lists and libraries out of sharepoint context so that means like uh, externally accessing the sharepoint list and data items the list items so how to do that so we are going to take a help of ms grab api and points and to make a call because uh, most of the time the requirement could be like uh, your external application built in java want to make a call to sharepoint to pull the data it could be file it could be sharepoint items so how to do that so for that we are going to use help of ms craft api with one registered app into the azure active directory so there are two steps involved so we'll just start taking the step by step process so let's let's get into the ad portal azure.com where i would be registering one app so if you are admin of your this ad then uh, probably you can directly log into this and if you are not then you can just uh, uh, note the steps and share those steps with your admin so that he can register the uh, this steps for you So for registering any app I have to go to this dashboard and in dashboard I'll be going to the app registration and Over here so we can see like are already registered apps But if you wish to like register a new app for making those external calls then register by starting this page so I can type in the app application so external access app I am just giving this uh, some name so if you are uh, want to give that by project basis then you can just prefix that with your project name and then register this app and you can use this uh, who can use this application or access this API so most of the time we want this to be accessible within your uh, company organization itself so just keep this one and then register and now when the app is registered you can just copy the client id because you are going to use this while making a connection so i'll just copy this client id and we have to create this client secret so if i click on this client secret add a client secret it will give me an area where i can have client secret you can see i can create multiple secret for single app so for this i can just register one client secret so i'll just put a secret for external sp app and you can define the expiration of this secret so by default i mean there are the multiple options but i prefer to keep this as two years and then renew if required or create a new secret altogether so now one once you create this secret so the, only the first time you would be given this value so just make sure you copy this value client secret value because after that like it will be just masked so you would not able to copy the secrets so just copy it and after that like go to this uh, api permission over here we would be defining what api access are this uh, app would be uh, given so we would be just click, clicking on this add permission and we want to use the ms graph api for accessing our site outside of sharepoint so that's why i'll just use and because it's application permission we want so we i'll be clicking on the application permissions and over here you can type in like what sort of permission you wish to give to this api so as i said like i wish to access my sharepoint site so you can simply start typing site and with this you can select these permissions level so i simply like because i wish to have this full control on my site via this app so i'll just say add permission and i will granular level permission also like i'll provide for example like uh, for files read and write so i'll just say files read write and if you wish to make uh, access to uh, list items then you can also use this list browser site list permissions and read write so this would give you access this a this app access to all these areas so i'll just go to the status it's not consent not granted so until unless like this consent is not granted so you this app would not able to access these endpoints so i have to click on this grant admin consent for this organization so i'll just say yes because this option would only be available to 
ad admins not you like if though like if you are a sharepoint admin uh, tenant admin then also like this would option would not be there you have to get your uh, admin to allow this this stuff for you so once this app api permission is set we are all set we can go back to our application because there is one thing which also like we need to uh, copy is directory tenant id so this is my tenant id so i'm just copying it and pasting so now these three stuff we are going to use to make a uh, access to our uh, sharepoint site via this app so now the next step is I, i'll just open my graph ap explorer and i'll just uh, you can see like i've just searched for the sites endpoints over here and search for the site by keyword so this is the endpoint to search the site so this is my site name so i've just searched it but it's giving access denied why this app why this uh, my sign in permissions but using this uh, api or this app which we just registered we are going to make a call to this endpoint only as you as i said like uh, because these endpoints should be accessed from some external application so first step for you as a sharepoint administrator or developer you should be validating all these access or these endpoints are working fine at your end before giving this api endpoints to your other teams so that they can make a connection to sharepoint so how to make that sure you must be using postman already but uh, you can simply like uh, go to the postman and start working uh, making these calls and get assured get confident that these apis are working then pass on these endpoints to your other team so i have this postman installed so you can see this postman is installed and there is one post uh, command uh, i would say like a post url endpoint i am pushing that to my uh, tenant i would say uh, using this registered api so right now i have just uh, imported one of the collection so this is the collection url which i'll paste you this collection url uh, would directly download one json file for you and you can import that json into your postman and that json would look like this cat ad token so what it does is actually making a call post call to this login.microsoftonline.com and this would be replaced with your tenant id as we have copied that and it on successful execution it will give you one access token so there are three two or three step process your external application should do or external team should do first to generate the access token via get uh, this url via this endpoint and then use that access token to make a call to sharepoint so i will paste this so that you can directly start working or importing that json into your uh, this thing uh, postman otherwise like you can simply create one new collection create a new request and then do a post but this uh, body parameters will already be there in those uh, collection if you download that directly rather than typing it again so i will be replacing these uh, these variables with the values which we have we have just copied so this is our tenant name so i'll just copy that and replace it over here and the client id i'll call i'll copy the client id which we registered and client secret was this and under the resource name we have to write the resource name as ms graph api because we are going to access that with ms graph api so i am just going to write https graph.microsoft.com and now we are done so now i can just make a call using this and i'll just do a send request and now i you can see i got this access token and the other properties for this so this is the access token which we are going to in turn use to make a call to sharepoint so i'll just save this so that i can keep adding my request to the same collection so i'll just add this new http request so that we can make a call to sharepoint site so in first step i'll be making call to sharepoint site with the same 
uh, endpoint which I just showcased you uh, for this MS graph so I'll just copy this just to make sure that via that access token I am able to uh, get to my site so I'll just say get and then under the uh, this headers I'll just put the authorization header as authorization uh, authorization and under this I'll just put up that as bearer token the access token and the access token I'll just copy the token from here and I'll just go to my this bearer and paste it and I'll just say send request so now I'm, I'm expecting that my site metadata should be available over here if it's making a connection successful so you can see I can see the value of my site environment name of the site display name site collection host name so that means I am able to access my site successfully via this application which we registered so that's great so the step number two is already done so I'll just save it so yes I can I can able to access my site using my generated access token in step one so that is what and in the step two I would like to uh, step three I would like to actually access the particular file let's say so I'll just go to my SharePoint and I'll just uh, copy this name because I'll just use this name use this file to access bulk.xls x so let's say I want to access this file from this library so the third step in the postman in the call so again like it will be a get call get call to my this library and for that endpoint I'll be using an endpoint to access the file and this is the endpoint so graph.microsoft.com and sites we have to pass them the host name that could be a tenant name and the site ID so site ID we just got from our previous step where we access this site so we, what is site ID site ID is I think was this this so it also has this host name appended so we are good we can just simply replace this entire site ID and host name with the uh, this XMD SharePoint and this ID and slash drive and after that like because it's uh, it's in our root drive where like the file name like particular file which we want to access so this is how you can just make a call to SharePoint document directly so I'll just create one third step request that is would be for that specific file and in that specific file when when I again make a call I have to again uh, under the headers I have to pass on this beer token with that the access token which we got from our first step so I'll just go to this again copy the tokens and go back to my get request put a beer and then access token okay so it's not copied let me copy it again so I'll again send the request and now we got the data so you can see like I got that uh, Microsoft graph download URL which will give me direct URL for downloading my this uh, file though like uh, the access directly is not provided on that file but this application access would work fine and we can also see the other properties for that file for example name last modified and the direct web URL so if you wish to take uh, directly work with the content of that file then you can just click on this uh, the download file URL and it will open you one that get property the entire stuff and when you say send it will give you the actual content of your file so you would able to successfully access your file you can just uh, use this uh, read this binary and then download the file and whatever operation you want to do you can just do read the actual file read the rows and then again like because this has been provided with the uh, read and write rights after changing you can push the file back to your uh, SharePoint as well so that's how like with these uh, three four steps you can very well access the SharePoint site or any SharePoint file directly without 
actually talking to SharePoint with MS Graph API. So I hope uh, you, you understand the entire process, just two step process, register your app into AED, then use those app credentials to make a call. Uh, first of all, to, aid, to get the AED token, the access token, and then simply hit the endpoints with the MS Graph API for searching the site, get the site ID, and then read out the files. The same thing you can do with accessing the SharePoint list item. So I think like uh, this is the intent of the video and if you still have any question then please feel free to drop your comments. I'll try to answer and that's it for today. Thank you.